Earth. The Merrimack is sweeping the Union fleet before her. She will besiege the northern cities and levy tribute from each of them. Why, even the capital will be at the mercy of the guns of the Merrimack. What of the Monitor? The Monitor? <laughs> if she ever does reach Hampton Roads, which I doubt, the Merrimack will blow her out of the water. So that's the Monitor. <laughs> Let's take it aboard and keep it for pet. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Second Feature on CUNY TV. Tonight's film, Hearts in Bondage, one of a handful of Hollywood films that dealt directly with the Civil War. A tale of close friendship tragically destroyed by the war, this low-budget production from Republic Pictures offered remarkably effective recreation of the battle between the ironclad ships, the Monitor and the Merrimack. Made in 1936, it was the only directorial effort by actor Lou Ayers, star of All Quiet on the Western Front. James Dunn stars as a Union Navy officer who endures court-martial and false arrest as a spy before convincing the Navy to adopt his design for the Monitor. David Manners co-stars as a fellow officer who resigns to join the Confederate Navy and winds up commanding the Merrimack in the climactic sea battle. Also in the cast are Mae Clark, Charlotte Henry, Fritz Lieber, Gabby Hayes, and Henry B. Walthall, the star of an earlier Civil War film, D.W. Griffith's The Birth of a Nation. Frank McGlynn Sr. appears as Abraham Lincoln, a role he played in several films, but never in as many scenes as he has here. And now, Hearts in Bondage. <laughs> 